Hello and welcome to another one of my short films covering 1960s toys from my collection. Um, a couple of uh, more board games this time. This is the very very nice artwork from the front of Waddington's Blast Off game. Um, very proud and pleased to promote the fact that they are the makers of, probably can't see it, Cluedo. Uh, this is by Waddingtons. Um, I guess they looked upon themselves in England as the kind of the Rolls Royce of game makers, um, sophisticated, meant for children or the family, but kind of more high end, uh, as you'll see in a moment when I show you the instructions. Um, obviously, this came out um, to tie in with the 1969 moon landings. Um, obviously space exploration has always been popular with kids but certainly during the mid to late 60s when the moon landing was imminent um, kids became all the more excited by it all I know I did and obviously toy companies thought this is a bandwagon we'll jump on and they did with this um, again very very nice artwork for the boards looks like it was uh, an original painting um, of stars and the galaxy as with the other games I've never played any of these um, there's cards there with different parts of the mission that you need to do um, you've got four counters uh, denoting each of the four players of the game there's a small planet surface there which I guess is the target that you're all aiming for the dice um, and this is particularly nice You've all got a cardboard control panel um, with uh, with um, indicators that turn. Uh, so I guess if you were to play the game, that would all make sense. Um, you also get this again, only cardboard, um, but it's kind of almost a bit of role play and a bit of interactive stuff as well as playing just a normal throwing of the dice game but even as a man in his mid 40s I find this instruction manual rather intimidating there's one two I mean most kids of a birthday or Christmas afternoon just want to crack on and start playing the game and I'm sure if you was a parent and you was asked to look over these instructions you'd be equally as um, confused as, as I am now so I'm sure this wasn't particularly a popular game with kids I mean it looks it reads more like a kind of a physics manual uh, than, a, than board game instructions but I, I obviously bought it purely because I like the look of it I'm interested in uh, space toys and games and uh, it's a very nice English example of that see if I can get a closer shot of the astronauts on the surface uh, nice lunar landing vehicle I mean they've thrown everything in but the kitchen sink for the box artwork but again it's uh, very very attractively done let's move on now to another one of my interests as you probably are aware by now this is the 1960s Spears game Batman swoops down now I was very fortunate that a pal picked me up one of these games uh, a few months ago and I also had one that I had had possibly even from when I was a kid um, that was missing some bits and between the two I've managed to put together quite a nice example um, again not played it um, seems to me similar to kind of tiddlywinks there's counters there's sections that the counters clearly end up in uh, but it's purely the collectible uh, aspect of it that I own it. It looks like they're Spears Artists uh, version of the Blockbuster Bandit. Um, quite recognisable penguin. Um, Mr Freeze, or I think as he was drawn there, that's when he was more likely to have been known as Mr Zero. Uh, Catwoman, a Joker Head, and some generic kind of gangsters, Captured Robin. But nicely done. Um, not quite as sophisticated looking as some of the American Batman games uh, but again 1966 England goes to show that uh, Batmania as it's become known was in full swing over here 
these are very nice um, small figurines of Batman each of you have got each player I think you kind of flick the character I've never never really tried it to be perfectly honest they're weighted so it's actually quite difficult to put them in the box um, I assume in terms of Batman swooping down you do something like this See if we can do this. Probably I'll make a complete pig's ear of it. There, exactly. But he lands on his feet. You won't be able to see this, I know, with this camera. Um, but very nice figurine of Batman. Um, rather like a Subutio type of character uh, with the weight there. But um, just another little short film for people to check out a few things that they may have only ever seen on eBay or on the internet or at toy fairs and thought mm, I wonder what those look like inside well here's your chance um, and again as with all of the collections um, there are fellas out there with far more than me um, but I've never seen anyone post similar films to do with this kind of stuff on YouTube there's some guys in America that do stuff to do with Johnny Seven and Johnny Astro and G.I. Joe which are great and um, it'd just be nice if a few more people did something like that I mean if I can do it I'm sure anybody can but there's the last little close up look of that Batman swoops down from England 1966 and from England 1969 the Waddington's Space Game Blast Off so I hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep an eye out for a few more films of a similar nature from me thanks for watching bye